from the fearsome jungles of Vietnam to the vast deserts of Yemen. The M109 Paladin has served in the U.S. military as the prime self-propelled artillery support vehicle for American divisions. Moreover, the system has equipped 40 countries worldwide, including several NATO allies. Its impressive main armament consists of the M126 155mm howitzer, and the vehicle also has state-of-the-art night vision equipment and a kit to provide amphibious capabilities. Ironically, the noble medieval bodyguard fully modernized the Western standards and redefined how self-propelled howitzers should be in the 21st century. And its trailblazing history is expected to continue with a current comprehensive overhaul, starting with the most recent M109A7 upgrade that will define whether the signature howitzer will remain on top of the world. Forefather. The U.S. Army already used self-propelled howitzers during World War II. The weapons were abundant at the time, especially the notable M7 Priest. Besides, heavier models in the range between 155 and 203 millimeters were also built in modest quantities, but they all had a problem. They completely lacked protection. In the 1950s, Military developers created a program to modernize the vehicles. Thus was born the M109, the medium variant of a standard chassis. The new system would then be adopted for all self-propelled artillery types and calibers. While the light M108 version, built and tested during the Vietnam War, utterly failed to impress and was therefore discarded, the XM109 capitalized on the past mistakes. The ensuing model was then tested, improved, and developed by the Ground System Division of United Defense LP, which soon led to a successful venture, one that would give birth to the most common Western indirect fire support weapon of maneuver brigades of armored and mechanized infantry divisions. The first production model was accepted in 1963 and became a standard for decades to come, dubbed Paladin for the medieval noble bodyguard that originally accompanied Charlemagne and was reinterpreted in Arthurian legends, the model is currently in service with the American military, otherwise referred to as M109A5+, or A6. Still, the official army designation has always been M109 self-propelled howitzer, and over the past four decades, it has received numerous improvements that expanded its service well into the new millennium. Front to back. Carrying a 155mm howitzer, the M109 is the prime self-propelled artillery support for American divisions. It consists of a tracked vehicle armed with a fully traversable turret and prominent bustle. Earlier variants had a 23 caliber barrel, but more modern versions, including the M109A6 Paladin, feature a larger 39 caliber one. In addition, the vehicle is fitted with an M126 howitzer for its main armament in an M127 mount, which has a fume extractor and a large muzzle brake. Although gun elevation and depression and turret traverse are hydraulic, the system is backed by manual controls for emergency use. Initially, the effective firing range was 11 miles, but was later improved to 19 miles due to the long barrel and enhanced ammunition. Though entirely custom-built, the hull shared many components with its predecessor, and has a prismatic shape at the front and flat rear plates. Furthermore, the Detroit diesel model 8B71T engine is located to the front, doubling as a buffer in case of a direct line of sight hit at the rear, and it is coupled with an Allison XTG 411-4A cross-drive transmission. The vehicle was designed for a crew of six, namely a commander, a gunner, a driver, and three ammunition members. And for protection against small arms fire and shell splinters, the hull is armored by an all-welded aluminum plate. The driver sits at the chassis's front left, with the power pack to the right and the turret lying behind them. A single-piece hatch opens to the left of the driver, who is also provided with three M45 periscopes right in front. The periscopes can be covered with custom-sized metal flaps to prevent damage, 
and one of the day periscopes can also be swapped for a passive night vision one. Finally, the all-welded aluminum armor turret has a square hatch on each side at the hull's rear, and it also has twin doors for ammunition resupply. Each door side is equipped with a large spade, lowered manually to the ground in preparation for firing. Still, they are usually deployed specifically when firing top charges. Right to left. The Paladin's profile is boxy, with its flat plates at the sides. Right below the turret is the fighting compartment, which takes up about three-fifths of the total length. Also boxy in its all-around shape, except for its rounded front section, the turret provided the howitzer with a full 360 degrees. A one and a quarter inch thick armor of reinforced rolled 5083 aluminum alloy wraps the vehicle, varying an angle from 75 degrees on the upper and lower front, as well as sides, rear, top, floor, and turret, to 22 degrees at the front and sides. The commander's seat is located to the turret's right, with a cupola that can be traversed through 360 degrees and a single-piece hatch cover that opens to the rear. What's more, it's fitted with an M27 day periscope, and there's a 50 caliber M2 heavy barrel machine gun in front of the cupola. Meanwhile, the gunner seat is on the left, and provided with a square single-piece hatch cover. The torsion bar suspension on either side consists of seven dual rubber-tired rope wheels. The driver's sprocket is at the front, the idler is at the rear, and there are no track return rollers. Furthermore, the tracks are of a single-pin center guide type and come with replaceable rubber pads. Notably, the fire control equipment has an elbow telescope M118C for direct fire with a magnification of four times and a 10-degree field of view, and a panoramic telescope M117 for indirect fire and gunner's quadrant M1A1. Although the M109 is fitted with night vision equipment, it does not have nuclear, biological, or chemical warfare protection. Past and future. A Vietnam veteran, the vehicle also saw action in the Yom Kippur, Iran-Iraq, Western Sahara, Gulf and Iraq wars, as well as in the Saudi Arabian-led intervention in Yemen. Currently, the model is slated for a comprehensive overhaul. The most recent M109A7 upgrade, formerly known as M109A6 Paladin Integrated Management, shares many components with the widespread Bradley fighting vehicle. More commonality with several army systems maximizes production savings, parts inventory, and maintenance. More importantly, it avoids component obsolescence. The PIM modernization effort is a significant upgrade for the M109A6 Paladin in terms of backspace, weight, and power cooling. The upgraded version will sport a brand new chassis, engine, transmission, suspension, steering system, and upgraded electric ramming system. Still, the cannon will remain unchanged. Despite being a 1959 design, it was upgraded numerous times in the following decades to integrate the highest technologies of each era and the vehicle has been sold to no less than 40 countries worldwide, including many NATO members. The M109 was the most prolific self-propelled howitzer, not counting the Soviet Union. But interestingly, it is still the most prolific one in existence, and given its new enhancements, it will likely remain at the top for many years to come. Thank you for watching our video. Don't hesitate to click on the screen and check out our other Dark Documentaries channels. And make sure to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest military-inspired stories. Stay tuned.